right, so good morning, everyone. Uh, thank you a lot, first of all, for joining on time and welcome to Business Mathematics. And uh, as you know, earlier this week, we talked about annuities, right? And you learned, you gained all the relevant information regarding annuities, their types, their formulas. Pretty much we learned everything about the theoretical application of annuities, right? So today, this time around, we're going to work on our case study in which you will see the application of annuities, how they're used, when they're used, and you will use your knowledge to apply annuities in real life, okay? So as you know, annuities provide periodic payments. So you can get an annuity or you can invest in an annuity. So they are financial products that, that is mainly bought by retirees, by retired people for, let's say for a comfortable retirement, right? And earlier this week, if you remember, we primarily focused on two types of annuities. First one was ordinary, and the next one was annuity due. And you also learn the difference between them. So the first one is paid or received at the end of each period. And the next one is received or paid at the beginning of each period. Okay? So today's case study will be primarily based on what you actually learned in the earlier part of uh, the class. Okay? So I want to introduce the case. As you can see, today we're going to focus on retirement planning. And right now, I'd like to give you some background information. And for this part, you will also need to take some notes as well. Okay? So I want to introduce you Sarah. She's a graphic designer, right? So she's a 30 years old and she wants to prepare for retirement at a very early age. Right, so she's 30 years old, but she's planning ahead, right? So the situation is here, if you take a look. First of all, Sarah hired a financial advisor. And according to financial advisor, according to what they discussed, so they want to invest in an annuity. Why they want to do it? They, they want to have, let's say, stress-free retirement, right? So they, they don't want to be dependent on anything else, but they want to have, let's say, a stream of income. Well, as you can see, we have some key information about the case. First of all, Sarah plans to retire at the age of 65, right? So she wants to get, get retired at this age. And also, she wants to get a fixed income, let's say fixed payment of 1,000, but when? On a monthly basis. So pretty much we can understand that this is 12 times a year, right? And uh, she's got an expectation here, which is pretty high, right? You can take a look. So she wants to live, let's say she expects to live until she's 90 years old. I mean, no one can guarantee this, but still let's hope for the best, right? And most importantly, we have the interest rate, which is fixed and it's given as 6%, okay? So based on what we have, based on what you can see, so you can take notes as well. Right now we have two main questions, okay? So the first question I want to introduce, based on your financial analysis skills, based on your critical thinking and decision making, the first question I want to ask, how much will she need at age 65? So by the time she wants to get retired, so how much money she should invest in an annuity so that she will have 1,000 US dollars every month until she's 90 years old, okay? This is the question we have for now. And the main question we have here, I want you guys to put yourselves in the shoes of Sarah. And if you were Sarah, would you invest in this annuity? Yes or no? Right now, you have some time to think about it. And I want you to, first of all, financially analyze the situation, analyze the case based on the previously given information. First of all, I want you to calculate how much money she should invest at the age of 65. After doing this, come up with some critical arguments, whether she should invest or not. Okay, now you have time to work on it.
All right, the first question we had, based on the given information in the case, how much will she need at age 65? Afina, yeah? So we have 25 years until okay. her retirement, and this will be uh, 300 periods because okay. we have monthly uh, compounded interest rate, yeah. which will be 0.5%. 0.5%. Excellent. So the present value should be 100,000, 155,982. Excellent. So does everyone agree? Did you have the same number? So. Basically, I can show the calculations once again over here as well. That's absolutely correct. So 0.5%, this is the interest rate for each period. And we're using the formula for present value of what kind of annuity? annuity. This is annuity due, excellent. Then, if you, if you take a look, we have 300 periods. So 25 years multiplied by 12. So once you calculate, you're going to get 155,982 US dollars and 90 cents right so you must have got this answer over here now the main question we have based on what you see so if you put yourselves in the shoes of sarah would you invest in this annuity or not again there is no one you know correct answer you can say yes you can say no it's absolutely up to you but you have to show i mean your arguments with critical thinking with critical decision making well any ideas have you got an answer? Obviously, I cannot be in the shoes of uh, Sarah, but oh. if I were her, um, with the 6% investment, I wouldn't really risk my money to put into the... Into the annuity, into the, right? Exactly, this investment, because um, we have a lot of risks, uh, including the yearly inflation, and yeah. if I had that much money, I would invest some, in something else, for example, stock investment or yeah. cryptocurrency, let's say. Well, who wants to jump in? Who wants to uh, continue the discussion? Any other points? Portugal, you want to try? If I was Sarah, I would do the same thing as her because when you are 65 years old, uh, you don't have, you don't uh, want to do any risk and you want uh, uh, income yeah. per month uh, gradually. So I wouldn't risk my money to stock market or do my business because I'm I will be 65 years old and. I think you cannot run your business at that age. At that age, right? So yes. you want to have a very comfortable retirement, yes. right? Stress-free retirement, let's say, right? Yes. Well, you can, you can, you know, come up with any arguments. There is no wrong answer, as we're seeing. If I were Sarah, I would invest my money into this annuity because I want to have my uh, kind of periodic payment, like income stream at the age of till 90. Yeah. But till then, I, I can run my own business without even this money because uh, you don't have to invest all your money on this annuity. So I would act as Sarah. Professor, I have uh, one little question. You know we have a retirement like uh, in Uzbekistan. Yeah. You have uh, like $150 monthly. Pensions, and right? Yeah. And uh, what if I die? Where this money goes? To my kids or uh, somewhere else? <laughs> Uh, in the case of annuity, in the case of annuity, there are death options as well. For example, if you have a spouse, uh, basically, when Sarah dies, let's say, when Sarah, let's say, let's not use the word die, but when she, she doesn't live until 90, there are some death options as well. For example, if she's got a spouse or if she's got maybe any relatives or maybe any kids, they can take advantage of this annuity until she's 90 years old. So until 300 periods, someone can take care of this money. But in the case of Uzbekistan, I think uh, pensions only work until someone passes away. There is no option like uh, someone can continue your pension. So far we have mixed arguments. And again, I want to share some more arguments in favor of Sarah's investment and also against Sarah's investment. So here you can see uh, some of the points that, uh, that, you know, make, that may make Sarah invest in this annuity. Well, the first reason could be time value of money, right? So what does that mean? As you know, this is annuity due and she's getting money at the beginning of each period. And because of that reason, based on time value of money, what Sarah has got now 
is more valuable than the same amount at the end of the period, right? So the first reason could be this. There is another reason called financial planning. So she's getting the money at the beginning of each month, meaning that she can plan ahead. So she can, you know, uh, benefit from this uh, early payment for different reasons. And third, third of all, we have liquidity options. What does that mean? So annuities usually are very flexible. For example, if you have an emergency situation, Sarah can take advantage of getting more money from this annuity plan. For example, not 1,000, maybe it could be 3,000 in one month, and then it goes uh, accordingly. And another uh, advantage of annuity would be immediate income stream. Again, some of you, uh, you know, share their thoughts on this. She's 65 years old, she can no longer work. That's why as the main source of income, annuity could be a solution, right? So you can say these are some of the advantages of investing in this annuity. At the same time, we have risks, right? So what kind of risks could be associated with annuities? First one is inflation risk. Again, your money is not adjustable to inflation. Right? You're investing the money, so every year there is your money is prone to inflation. Right? Another risk is connected with opportunity costs. For example, as Jafar Mazo said, uh, you can you know, use the same amount of money for different investments. Right? For example, stocks, bonds, or even let's say compound interest. This could be a possibility as well. And finally, we have tax implications. So we have to understand that annuities are always bound to taxes let's say, uh, incurred by the government. And that's why this could also uh, let the money lose its power over time. Okay, so pretty much that's what we have today. And again, it really depends on Sarah, whether she should invest or not. But I was very glad to hear uh, very strong arguments from your side, right? And with this being said, this is the end of our case study. And first of all, we had the financial analysis. You calculated the present value. And you have to understand one thing. What we're learning today or during the semester is not just preparing you for the exam, but seeing the applications of those topics in real life with the help of case study. Thank you once again uh, for your participation. And I hope to see you in the next session. Thank you.